What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are doing, as always, my favorite videos to film. We are going over my April favorites. I do have a lot here, so I'm not gonna do a super, super long intro because we don't got time for that. We gotta like get into it quick. I do have a few misses, but we'll talk, uh, should we talk about this first? Okay, we'll talk about those first. But before we get started, if you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up down below. It really helps me out. And without further ado, let's do it. I think that was like the shortest intro of my life. Oh God, I gotta fix this up. Let's start with our misses because that's why we're all here, right? Like we wanna talk about the shit that didn't work out for us. So the first thing I have, I feel like people are going to come for me hard for this, but I just like, I didn't like it, I'm sorry. This is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I don't understand what all the hype is about this. Like this to me, first of all, the brush on this guy is like super thin and small and it's like really spiky and curved. And is this supposed to like make your super curling and lifting mascara? No. So when I'm not wearing false lashes, I have very short, like, I mean, they'll curl, but they're kind of stubby for the most part. Like they're really not doing a whole lot for me. And this just made them black and like stick straight out. They didn't lift them, they didn't curl them, there was no volume, there was no lengthening, like this just did nothing to me other than like tint them black. So what I have been using this for is my lower lashes, but even that, this curved brush, like I hate it. I don't like curved brushes like this. I should have known when I picked this up, but I was trying to be optimistic and so many people have talked about it and just like fallen in love with it and it just isn't for me. Are you my favorite this month? I don't know, your brother might be my favorite this month. This was my favorite dog this month too, so I'm just kidding. So my next not favorite of the month is this Macadamia Ultra Rich Moisture Mask, which I was really confused about this guy because I've purchased like the big ass macadamia like mask in like the huge tub. I actually got that from TJ Maxx one time and it was amazing. I was obsessed with it. It lasted me a really long time. It was really like creamy and rich and it made my hair so soft, got rid of all the frizz. It was, it was really, really good. I really, really enjoyed it. But this, is this not the same thing? I just, after shampooing, apply to damp hair, mid lengths to ends, coming through desired, leave through five, 10 minutes. This didn't do anything for my hair. So I was confused, is this just like the mini size? Or, and I mean, I used a decent amount of it. I tried to use like half of it, but I just, oh wait, texture is very coarse, coiled hair. So maybe that's why it didn't work for me. But I feel like it should be even more like moisturizing than this actually, like I feel like left my hair a little bit drier. It says hydrates, repairs, and strengthens, and I just didn't get any of that. If anything, my hair was like just as dry as it was before. And I do have color treated hair. It's bleached, I'm not naturally blonde. And this is color safe, cruelty free, no added sulfates, free of gluten. I don't know, I just, if you have a good recommendation for a hair mask, leave it down below. I need help, I'm in desperate search. I've been trying a few of them, but I just haven't found any that I'm like obsessed with, and this unfortunately was another one of those. So in terms of hits for hair products that I did really like is this Bumble and Bumble Pret a Powder. So I asked you guys on my Instagram actually for a recommendation for a good alcohol free dry shampoo because I have tape and extensions. I can't use products that have a lot of alcohol in them because it will break down the adhesive, it, whatever. Multiple people suggested the Preta powder to me. I love this. Just as like a volumizing powder on days that my hair is clean and then days that I need a dry shampoo, this is so good. So this guy is equal parts dry shampoo, volume powder, and then a style extender as well. This guy just does such a good job of absorbing all the oils and it gives you insane volume. It's so good. It doesn't make your hair sticky or leave like a weird residue. It doesn't leave like a white film if you rub it in really, really well. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's just kind of like a baby powder bottle and you just like squeeze it out and you can just like sprinkle it or you can actually like squeeze it and it like shoots into where you want it. Or you can just put it in your hands and then rub it through your hair that way. I just find that 
This is pretty easy to use. The packaging isn't a complete mess. You can travel with this entire thing because it's literally just powder in there. There's no liquid, no aerosol cans, nothing crazy like that. And you literally just apply it to dry hair at your roots like you would any normal dry shampoo. This does a really, really great job. I love it. If I need just a little additional volume, I will dump a little bit of this in. If I have the greasiest like six day hair that I'm like, oh my God, I need to like shower and do a blowout and stuff tomorrow. This still does a great job. I will not have like a ton of excess oil or anything like that. And you can apply a few coats of this, I guess, like throughout the day if you need a little bit more, it's buildable. So moving on to makeup, I want to start with a primer. This is the Ola Henriksen Truth line. Um, and this is the Banana Bright Face Primer with vitamin C and banana powder inspired pigments. So this is what it looks like. I really like that it's like a squeezy tube and you can actually see that it's like a yellowy color. And this stuff just, oh my God, it feels like a moisturizer. It feels so good on your skin and it sinks in it smells delicious. It smells like candy. It's one of my favorite primers at the moment. It's just so smoothing and moisturizing, but it doesn't make you sticky or oily or greasy. I also really like to use this just on top of a moisturizer if I'm not wearing any foundation. This just gives you like a nice glowy boost. It makes you look really healthy. It makes your skin even and just look really luminous and pretty. But again, it doesn't make you like a huge oil slick. It sinks in really nice, but it also stays like a tiny, tiny bit tacky. So your makeup does adhere really well to it. I just have been a huge fan of this primer. I have been using it nonstop. I think this is gonna be my go-to for the summer just for that healthy looking complexion. And I really, really recommend it. Ola Henriksen is a great skincare brand to begin with. I use their eye cream. I use their cleansers, their toners, like, I love this brand so much and uh, they hit it out of the park with this primer again for sure. And I'm talking about this with the primers because I do use this more as a primer than I would like a setting spray. This is the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. Oh, this stuff is just like a drink of water for your skin. It is so, so good. Many of you know that I am a huge fan of the Smashbox Primer Water. People are like, it's literally water. Like, what does it do? But it really just hydrates everything and makes everything look really healthy and it's just a nice oh my god it just oh it feels so good I can't even explain it like if you've never tried the primer water I highly highly recommend it on top of another primer I never use it just on its own but these both are just like such a great drink of water for your skin you feel so hydrated and then you put on your makeup and you just look so glowy and I love this it doesn't make me greasy which I was kind of nervous about because it is kind of a dewy spray but it really doesn't mess with the integrity or longevity of my foundations. I think they last just as long, look just as beautiful. I just, I really like this when I'm having days where I'm like, I really wanna be dewy and glowy or days that my skin is just not cooperating and it's super dry and it's just kind of a mess. Sometimes if a moisturizer is a little bit too heavy for me in the summertime, I will just apply my usual serums and all that stuff and then just use this, a couple spritzes of this before I apply my primer and my foundation and it's amazing. You can use this as a primer or you can use this to set your face. I don't really love this to set my face just because I like like my Urban Decay All Nighter or my D Slick, something a little more mattifying that's gonna like make my makeup last longer. But as a primer, I do really, really enjoy this paired with like my Makeup Forever one. I love it with my Tarte Clean Slate. Like this just, I've, I've been obsessed with this. I think this is a great product if you're into more hydrating things or if you wanna look a little bit dewy. I think that this is just really, really pretty. And I actually just posted a little mini Instagram tutorial video on my Instagram. So if you're not following me there, here it is, follow me. But if you wanna see how I use this and you wanna see this product in action, then definitely check out that video on my Instagram page. And it's kind of some helpful tips if you're looking for that kind of like dewy, healthy skin base. Speaking of healthy looking skin, I mean, like you guys knew this was coming. Literally all of you knew this was coming. I am so obsessed with this foundation. It's like disgusting how much I love this foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. I did do a first impressions and wear test of this on my channel. So I will link that video down below if you guys are interested in checking it out and seeing how this wears, what it looks like upon application, my favorite way to wear it. This 
is an amazing foundation. This shade is obviously not matching me at the moment. This is like as dark as I could possibly get, but I have a few of these. I have the concealer. The concealer I love, but this just, oh my God, it's so good, you guys. This is medium coverage, I would say, but definitely buildable to a full coverage. You can definitely get that really, really nice, even skin tone with it. And it is not matte matte. It's more of like a satin natural finish, which I'm really, really into lately. If you set it correctly, this lasts a really, really long time. I mean, it is 24 hour fresh wear and spoiler alert, but if you have not seen in that video, I actually wore this to the gym, which I never do, but I wore this to the gym and after I was done, it was perfect, like flawless. So I am super, super obsessed with this foundation. I think it's awesome. It's from the drugstore. They have an amazing shade range. It has a pump, packaging is a 10, colors are a 10, everything about this is just amazing. And it even has sunscreen in it, but no flashback. So you don't have to worry about that. Continuing on with face products, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And I know this has been out for a minute, but <laughs> I'm like always so late to the party on everything. It literally is that. Airbrush Flawless, like I'm obsessed with this powder. So I don't like to bake my entire face or use like a translucent powder all over my face. I think it's just a little bit too drying. It makes me look a little bit cakey. It's just not my vibe anymore. But this just tapped into the areas where you need like, not extra coverage, but if you need like in your smile lines, you need to set stuff like that. This just blurs out any pores, any imperfections you have. I love this as a finishing powder. I have light as well, which I've actually used to set my under eyes a few times before and it worked really, really well. But I love this, just tap it a little bit on the forehead. I carry this in my purse if I need like a little bit of blotting help or if I need a little bit of just like a touch up, this is great for that too. And I mean, it's a really slim compact. Charlotte Tilbury is really, really good. I'm learning, I'm kind of new to her products and her line. I'm kind of just now experimenting with a lot of her stuff, but this is so amazing. I highly recommend this powder if you're not one that likes to bake or use like a full on translucent powder, it's like a little too much for you. I think that you would really, really enjoy this. It's a really beautiful powder. It's so finely milled. There's three shades. There's a light, medium, and dark. It's nice in the summertime. It's not too heavy. It will not make you look cakey. I just use a light dusting of this in areas that I need a little extra help, and this, amazing. So the next and last face product I have is this Fenty Beauty Highlight. This is in Mean Money and Hustla Baby. I did not realize, <laughs> but I've been using this highlight for like, two years and I didn't even know it because when these first came out, I bought a little like mini tester kit with this guy and um, this shade right here, I was obsessed with. It's like this beautiful peachy coppery gold color and this is the shade Hustla Baby. So I've been using this for like two years and then I was at Sephora and I think I meant to pick up another one and I was using it and I was like, oh my God, I'm so obsessed with this highlight. Like it's so beautiful, it's so good, it's so good and I was using it nonstop, and then I was like, it kind of looks a little bit familiar to me, I'm not gonna lie. And then I went in my drawer and realized that I have it in the mini, so I have two of these, that's how much I love it. And I just, I guess I forgot I loved it, so I went out and bought another one, and I'm equally as obsessed. Yeah, like it's, it's just so beautiful. On tan skin, this is, oh, I think her formula is really, really good. She has some really, really unique shades, some like fun stuff if you're willing to experiment a little bit, and then she also has more wearable stuff, but these have been my favorite highlight formula. They're super creamy. They're pigmented in the sense that like, when you put this on, like it's gold. Like it's gold and peachy and everything that you want. It's not just gonna be like glitter or like sparkle on your face. Like it does what is in the pan is what comes on your face, which I really appreciate. I think it's really pretty. It's true to what it looks like in the packaging. I mean, I just, I'm a big fan of Fenty Beauty. I mean, if you haven't tried these yet, you need to. Last but not least is a brow powder. This is big for me, you guys. If you know me at all, you know that like I have my brow routine and I don't, I don't fuck with it. Like I don't, I don't, I don't change a, like a dang thing about it. Actually, there's like two products that kind of like go hand in hand. So I'll talk about the brow powder first. This is the Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder. And this is actually in the shade five, which is like, ridiculously dark, but I've been really using this like light brown ashy shade at the front here. And this one is pink because I got it in like the Desi 
brow collection like her whole packaging and I do like a darker brow and I've just been obsessed with this powder I've never used brow powders before like I've always been pomades like till I die the ABH pomade was it and then I started transitioning to pencils like I use the precisely my brow I use the benefit brow contour I use Catrice brow pencils and I am now on the Anastasia brow definer I'm so into pencils lately but then I was like okay this kit came with a powder like I gotta try the powder I think it's so good it's like pigmented but not overly pigmented so you get that really nice natural like just fill in but yeah I can also still do like a super sharp carved out brow like this or I can just like use it for like a little bit of extra volume kind of define things when I'm doing like a no makeup makeup day it's just so versatile depending on like the pressure and the brush that you use I've been loving this for a more natural look on top of that I will go in with the Too Faced brow quickie I'm these two together are a dream for me I will use this to kind of just like comb through my brows and like push them up this is a fiber gel mascara looking guy and I will just like push them up and out and over and just really like scrub this in there and they're just so fluffy and they're like standing up like crazy and I know some people really aren't into that but I just love it for a more natural look and it just I think it's so flattering in the summertime with just like really bronzy skin and then like a little tiny eyeshadow and like a cute lip color with like fluffy natural looking fun brows I'm I'm into it if you want to see these two products in action and how I like to use them and what I'm talking about the final result then I did just recently do a makeup tutorial on my channel I will link that down below where I kind of go through these and how I like to use them I'm not doing a very good job of describing how I like to use it like big fluffy push them up like I know it's a little bit scary but honestly it just gives you a really nice natural fluffy voluminous brow and I'm just super into it something a little bit more natural it's just a nice change it's not as harsh and I think it's a little bit more flattering for those more natural makeup looks oh yeah I asked you guys if you wanted me to include a little bit more lifestyle stuff on my channel in addition to just like the typical beauty favorites and you guys said unanimously yes so that's what we're going to talk about right now so the first thing i want to talk about this is so random and people are going to be like what this is the spindrift sparkling water with real squeezed fruit oh i go through these like a case a week they are a little bit pricey for a seltzer water but they're so good this is my favorite flavor this is just like the lemon one it's so good it's three calories no sugar and there's one gram of carbs because it is made with real fruit juice and there is carbohydrates and fruits but it's literally the ingredients if you look it's literally carbonated water and fresh lemon juice lately i'm because summer is approaching and like getting ready for the wedding even though i have like a year now but you know i'm just i'm trying to i'm trying to be better and like do things for myself so i'm trying really hard to cut out sugar I did Whole30 for a while and got used to it, but I've like reintroduced unhealthy foods back into my life. And let's just say I love soda. Diet Dr. Pepper is my jam. For a while there, I was going through like three of them a day. Like, oh my God. And especially like Fountain Diet Dr. Pepper from like McDonald's or like the Chick-fil-A drive through oh, It's so good. I love, 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 love diet dr pepper and so i've been trying to drink these a little bit more because it has the carbonation it has a little bit of flavor it's getting me to drink more water and i'm not drinking any sugar or like empty calories like that so i really really do love these i've tried a lot of the flavors um my second favorite would probably be just like the plain lime the raspberry lime is really good right now i have the mango orange ones in my fridge I don't love those ones as much. I mean, they're good, but I think the lemon is definitely my favorite. If you like lemon water, if you like seltzers, you would really, really enjoy these. They are very strongly flavored. It's not just like a subtle hint. Like you can tell there's lemon in this and that I love. It's not Diet Dr. Pepper, but you know, health. So the next thing that has been my favorite are my AirPods. So I was like, first of all, these I'm gonna lose at some point I already know it's inevitable I've had them for two months now and haven't lost them yet but like they're they'll disappear at some point if we're being honest they're obviously just like the little headphones I love that noise when you put them in and it goes ding, ding. 
when it's like connecting to your phone. But honestly, I love these more than I thought I would. I had them for like a month and I didn't even touch them. Like they literally just sat in my purse. I never used them. But recently I've been using them more and more because I've been <laughs> exercising. No, I'm just kidding. But in all seriousness, I try and take our two dogs for a walk every morning. <laughs> doesn't always happen but I try um, we try and walk for like an hour or so and so I've really really been loving walking with these headphones because I feel as though I'm still aware of my surroundings I know if there's cars coming I know if I need to cross the street like look both ways I can still kind of hear they're not noise canceling but I can also walk and listen to Spotify I can listen to a podcast and it just makes the experience a little bit more enjoyable I also love these for obviously like any form of like traveling transit like they're super easy they're small they don't take up a ton of room and they hold their charge for a really really long time and I actually use these at my hair salon too I really liked these for when I was sitting there like under the dryer or I was processing, I could just slip these in really quickly and then watch some YouTube on my phone. They connect to my MacBook, I can edit videos with them. They're really, really nice, I love them. If you're into music and if you're doing a lot of stuff where you need sound, video, that kind of thing, I recommend these for convenience. They're, I mean, they're super convenient. I can wear them around the house when I'm like cleaning or just doing anything really. I mean, they're headphones. Like anytime you would wear headphones, you can use these obviously. You don't have to worry about cords getting tangled. And I don't work out with these. I don't like this style for the gym. I think they fall out and I'm like super paranoid about that. So for the gym, I do have noise canceling. I have my beats that go in the ear, like around the neck. And then I also have like my big ass headphones that I can always go to. But I do really like these and they do have like the find my phone feature. So if you lose them, you can actually track where they last were. So the last thing I have are these glasses that I wanted to chat about. Don't I look so smart? I have been obsessed with these glasses. I have horrible eyesight. Um, if you don't know, I do actually wear prescription, okay, I'm gonna take these off because I'm getting a glare. I do actually wear prescription glasses and I do wear contact lenses. And so my eyes strain a little bit to begin with because I don't have very good eyesight. And then when I'm sitting on the computer all day editing videos, and on my phone and anything like that for long periods of time, I do get really bad headaches and my eyes get unbelievably tired. So I decided to finally invest in some blue light glasses. These are from Key Australia. I think not only are they functional, but they're super, super cute. I love the clear lenses. I kind of want a pair of prescription glasses like this. They come in pink as well. They come in a bunch of different colors, but I've noticed a difference with like my headaches and my eye strain for sure using blue light glasses. So if you work in an office or at a computer like all day long, I really recommend getting some of these. Basically, it just cancels out the harmful blue light rays. I, they're not UVA rays because that's from the sun, but whatever blue light rays come from electronic screens, anything like that, these kind of cancel that out and block that out. It's better for you. I'm not sure if you can get blue light like prescription lenses, um, but I just pop in my contacts and then wear these while I'm editing and they're super cute. I'm obsessed with them. I love them. Key is a little bit pricey I guess for glasses I think these were like 40 bucks 30 40 bucks but I really love them they're really great quality they're sturdy they fit really well they're comfortable super lightweight they don't give me like pain on my nose here which I've had a lot of glasses that have done that in the past um, so yeah I got a few questions about these when I was wearing them in one of my Instagram stories when I was editing and so I thought I would just shout these guys out all right, you guys, that is it. That is everything. This was, whew, this was a long one. Lately, I've been having such good luck with makeup and finding products that I really, really love. I love sharing the wealth. I'm not one of those girls that people are like, oh my God, where'd you get your shirt? And I'm like, I'm not telling you. So whenever I find a really great product, I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I can't wait to tell you all about it. And I could literally sit here for three hours. So... <laughs> This is gonna be a fun one to edit. But thank you so much for sticking it out with me and watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up down below and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Can't stop staring at those oceans.